12, France. I'm not a rich, but I'm shining bright. I can't see my kingdom now. Quand je rêve, je suis un roi. Quand je rêve, je suis un roi. I'm not a rich, but I'm shining Welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. Do please remember to subscribe by clicking on the button below, also on the notification bell, and also please do comment, like, and of course share with your friends. So we're back to uh, another big five country, our second big five country in a row, and this time it is France, who will be sending Bilal Hassani. Um, now he is, where, from where he's come from, he is better known as a YouTuber, um, and has a very big following in France. Uh, he entered Destination Eurovision, which was the uh, French national final, second year that they've done that, uh, done that national final, or in that format, so it's a two semis and, a, and then a grand final. Now, in the final, Bernal didn't actually do so well with the international jury element. Um, I think he came something like fifth, fifth of seven. Um, but he had an enormous public vote, a huge, huge public vote, which is probably not surprising given his social media following. Um, and because that public vote was weighted by how big it was, he won comfortably. Um, as I said, he is primarily known as a YouTuber, but he had also been on uh, the French show The Voice Kids, as he's only 19, uh, and so this was a few years ago. And I think the song he performed there was uh, Conchita's Rise Like a Phoenix. I think Conchita was a big role model for him. Um, interestingly, you know, that, that fact that he is a YouTuber, it's a lot of the acts that you see in Eurovision these days, in fact, probably the large majority of them, have normally done some form of uh, reality TV contest, either The Voice, X Factor, Pop Idol, a number of those kinds of ones. But this is, but that was really the first one to come from kind of the social media side of things, so that where, you know, you've got these people that have huge numbers of followers on YouTube and other social media platforms. So that could be a trend that we see kind of coming into the future in, in Eurovision, potentially. Um, he came out in 2017, just before Paris Pride, uh, and was named by Tetu, which is a French gay magazine, as kind of an icon for gay youth. And um, his song, uh, sort of Roi, which means king, uh, was co-written by Bilal, uh, but was also co-written by, co by last year's French entry, uh, Madame Monsieur, who were a big fan favourite uh, with their song, Merci. <laughs> Now, why is French pop? But it mixes up English and French, uh, sometimes kind of almost within the same sentence or, or sentences next to one another. Uh, and that's something Bilal has said that he does almost kind of as he talks anyway, just normally, uh, is mixing up the French and the English. And he's a really engaging person. Um, he uh, he came out outside at the London Eurovision party to speak to, to, to the people waiting out there. A lot of people that don't have tickets are just there to try and see the stars. He spent a lot of time engaging with them, talking to them, uh, and really sort of loving the experience again. And actually, after after the, the show, um, he was out again in the, on the main dance floor on the stage, dancing away. So uh, really enjoying it and, and sort of engaging with the with the fandom. Um, and he does certainly, and that's great that he has lots of time for, fan, for the fans. Uh, because unfortunately, he did suffer quite a lot of homophobic abuse kind of in the weeks after he won. So it's great that he is seeing lots of other positives. Um, now, the song you see is a really empowering one. And I think, you know, coming from Bilal and um, what he goes through and what he's gone through, that it's all part of his own experiences that he's had. Now, I was a little bit unsure about the live vocal. Um, I personally felt it was... It was quite thin in some ways. Uh, sort of his voice felt a bit thin. Um, but actually seeing him live, I, could, I can see how it really fits in with his persona and with the song. And I think it all fits together really quite well. Just got to make sure he does do well on some of those long notes that, that come up. Um, I'm slightly uncertain how this will do. Um, he's obviously got a big fan base in France. Um, but the international juries didn't go for this. And then... Will he get a big televote or a big fan base outside of France? I'm sure he's engaging enough to do that, but will it translate to votes on the night? Don't know. Um, 
I think this could be a decent result. Um, uh, and I hope it is because it certainly deserves to be. So I wish bon chance to Bilal. And we'll see you again soon for the next in the countdown.